Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. This is Massacred Monday. This is like the Cowboys versus the Lions was like the Christians versus the Lions in Roman days. They literally got slaughtered. And, you know, I'm a Dak Prescott fan, you know, and Dak has blame to go on here, too. Um, but what people don't seem to do is they, they'll stop with just Dak Prescott. And they won't look at things holistically, at the whole equation. And what I said sitting here, and this is returning to the scene of the crime, sitting here... Um, when we go through and blame Dak Prescott, if the defense had held them to, you know, 17 points or 24 points and so on, if the running game had, you know, rushed for 100 yards and things like that, if Dak Prescott had had time to throw and we lost and you, you, you looked at the, the turnovers that Dak made, it's clear to say, yeah, we lost because of that guy. But I want you to understand that our defense did not force the Lions to punt all day. All day. We've given up 167 points at home in the last four games. And to make it even worse, the players, we, we are very top-heavy in players on the team. And because we're top-heavy, we need those top players to perform. And if they don't, we're screwed because we've got nothing underneath of it. This is one that um, may be a surprise, um, especially after last year holding out to make sure he got another contract, is Zach Martin. And I've said a couple times this year that Zach Martin is not the guy that he used to be, far from it. Um, Brandon Lurie posted, according to, um, pro football focus, you know, you know, skip the <laughs> boys of pro football focus. Um, they, uh, watch a lot of football and whether they're exactly 100% right, you know, all the time, you know, I don't think anybody is, some of it is, is really opinionated on it. But I know that I saw some times where I saw Zach Martin looking like he was getting folded backwards, like an accordion. And I don't know if this is age, if there's some injuries and things. He didn't practice, I think, Wednesday and Thursday. So maybe he's got something going on that, you know, we don't know fully about. You know, kind of the same way that Jalen Hurts, we saw him with a knee brace on and, and, and limping around, but he was never on an injury report. Kind of like Brandon Cooks, who didn't practice a lot in training camp and left training camp a week early to go back to Dallas. And then we find out he's on injured reserve because he's gotten some kind of infection from some kind of procedure that we don't even know what the procedure was on his knee that maybe there's something going on with Zach Martin and he's just not there. But this is this is alarming if you're a Cowboy fan to see these numbers. According to Pro Football Focus, Zach Martin graded out at a 28.3 on Sunday against the Lions. His pass blocking grade was a zero. A zero for pass blocking. A 28.3. Bro. Now, I'm not going to turn around and say, hey, everybody, everybody else is doing great things because we saw, you know, before he got injured, and I hope uh, the surgery goes well with it, and it's crazy that Aiden Hutchinson's injury happened against Dak Prescott, a person who suffered, you know, the same type of an injury that he literally went to the hospital and had to have emergency surgery uh, with that leg. I'm guaranteeing that when that thing snapped, that that thing was 
you know, busting arteries and everything else in there and probably internal bleeding that they needed to stop and um, reset that bone. And hopefully there's no infection with his like uh, Alex Smith. That was brutal. And that's where you realize for all those out there just saying people are bums and this, that, and the other, that's what those guys are risking every single play out there. But Zach Martin, who was an all-pro last year, who is supposed to be the stabling piece that we had left from the Great Wall of Dallas, if he's now folding up like an accordion, this is bad news for us. Terrence Steele hasn't been anything like he was before the ACL. He's been bad. He's getting beat, and he's facing, let me preface this, he's facing great players out there, but he has not been good. If Zach Martin is not there to kick in and give him a hand too and is having a hard enough time with his guy, we're screwed. With Cooper BB in the middle, who is actually playing better at the moment than Zach Martin is, and Tyler Smith, you've got right now two guys that are playing pretty good. And um, Bass just had his struggles yesterday too. So you look at this from the standpoint of we're bad everywhere right now. We got problems everywhere. Now, can some of this be turned around? Yeah. I don't think Zach Martin is a 28.3 um, offensive lineman. And grades, mind you, that comes from 100%, okay? 100%. You know, 50s is considered bad 60 is about average 70 and above is considered really good when you got a 28.3 you got a lot of room that you can do a lot better with and i hope that he definitely turns it around but you're beginning to see all of the time that he's been out here that maybe he's just wearing down and sometimes with football players it seems like they hit the brick wall peyton manning um from the second to the last super bowl that he went to that season, he had, like, 50 TD passes. Two years later, he had more interceptions than TD passes. He had, like, what, eight TD passes and 15 interceptions. And so players do hit the wall. And at the moment, it seems like Zach Martin's hit the wall. And this is not good news if you're a Cowboy fan to see Zach Martin struggling like this. I don't know. Um Maybe this is the the moment that we realize that everything with the Cowboys needs to be overhauled, that um, some of our last elements of the Jason Garrett era, it's time. D-Law is up there and old. You see Brandon Cooks is up there and kind of old. You see Zach Martin is, is aging out. That the players, these are key players that we were depending on that aren't there. These are the high-dollar guys that are out there that you can't rely on. And once you get past those guys, if they're not performing, you've got no hope as a Cowboy fan. And I hate to be doom and gloom today but it's hard not to be when the cowboys literally got their teeth kicked in and jerry jones is in denial oh we can just play better we can we can look internally and 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 no you can't you can't you just don't have the players right now Your, your big dogs are not there and performing and the lower tier guys you have aren't good enough all right you good people Almost time for me to go to the doctor so I can get rid of this thing. Hopefully, this thing will be gone and then less painful when it is. Peace out.